streets. Most of the streets in southeast Wisconsin are now clear, but during the evening commute, the plows had to fight to keep up. Corrine Zell has more on what today's wild weather meant for drivers. She joins us live downtown in Milwaukee. Corrine. Stephen Carroll, we're at Water and Nap, where the roads look really good tonight, but this wasn't the case the majority of the day. As of 8 o'clock tonight, there were 99 incidents on the roads in Milwaukee County alone today. Many drivers thought they were in the clear of a messy commute when they woke up to a dusting of snow. I was expecting a blizzard. I was expecting to pretty much walk out of my house and realize, oh, I have to grab the shovel because my car is buried. Several caught off guard by the afternoon snowfall and treacherous afternoon drive. I thought it was supposed to be done at 2 and it came later than that. Traffic cameras show accidents all over the interstates, from slide offs to spin outs. Um, I think a lot of it is the roads are moist, and while some of them are not snow covered, people think I'm just going to continue driving the posted speed limit. And it ends up getting them in trouble. The Department of Transportation Control Center reports four times as many incidents on the roads today compared to a typical Tuesday. I drive from Milwaukee to Whitewater. I teach over there at Whitewater and it was so bad. You know, windy and the roads were, you know, were not that clean. Yeah, that was so bad. Drivers who headed out this morning weren't expecting their drive home to be the worst part. It was slippery. And um, I was going home at that time, and our driver wasn't plowed yet, and um, I couldn't hardly get up the driveway. In Kenosha County today, one of the areas hardest hit with snow, they saw at least 30 accidents, and 20 of those were cars in ditches. Reporting live downtown Milwaukee, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4. Corrine, thank you. And remember